Okay, the ice formation. Maybe by this time your brain is heated, so this ice question is really going to be helpful. Water in a swimming pool at zero degree centigrade, probably a swimming pool in Russia, right? Uh, freezing at t equals to zero, it begins there. Depth of water is one meter, atmospheric temperature is minus of four degrees centigrade. Now, what do I require? I require a swimming pool. Let me make the swimming pool first. Uh, cool swimming pool here. The outer temperature that is how much? Minus 4 degrees centigrade. And depth of water that's 1 meter. Okay. Okay. That's 1 meter. And then density of water that has been given as rho. Latent heat of fusion that's capital L, thermal conductivity of ice is K, time taken to freeze the entire pool. We need to solve for the time and suitably we need to equate it to N. This is a very regular pattern question, nothing, nothing very, you know, special, but still at any instant, at any instant, let's say this Y length of water has already frozen. So, at this instant, what is the rate of heat passes? K conductivity, A temperature difference is 4 divided by Y, K A delta theta by L. This is rate of heat passes. Now, you know, this heat which flows outside will freeze a tiny layer of ice. So, this is that additional layer of ice which would be frozen. So, that is the mass which comes as rho A dy, rho is the density, it has been said and that is equal density of ice and water, that is a nice discount, otherwise we had to go with lots of computation. That is the mass of this into L divided by dt. Now, what is L? L is the latent heat. Now, it is quite simple, you see when you start solving this thing. Uh, this is all I require is separation of variable k a 4 even this a gets cancelled. So, there is no point holding it anyway it is getting cancelled there 4 k divided by rho l d t and that is equals to y d y and now I need to integrate it t equals to 0 y is 0 t equals to t y is 1 because we need to freeze the entire lake you know big mission. So, when you do that, that value of time comes out to be rho L by 8 k okay, when you solve that even which is very clear here y square by 2 and all. So, what would be the value of n as per the question 08.00 that is done, that is done. Let us go with this question number 17 that is the second last penultimate question. A particle is projected from the surface of earth with a velocity half the escape velocity. Now, here what do I require? I require to draw earth. So, let us go green. Let me make a green earth here. All right. Now, what does it say? And even let me shift earth here. It is a big statement shifting earth. <laughs> All right. A particle is projected from the surface of earth with a velocity half the escape velocity at an angle 30 degree with the horizontal. That means, at an angle if I take it here uh, that is going to be how much? 60 degree with the vertical right. So, here, here this angle is 60 degree and it is projected with a speed v and what is v? The value of v is half the escape velocity v e by 2. So, that is 1 by 2 under root of 2 g m divided by capital R. That is how it goes, that is how it goes. The maximum height attained by the body from the earth surface is n r. Now, I will tell you just you know fasten your seat belt because the question is going to be a bit lengthy in terms of calculation. So, this is the maximum height and symmetrically it will hit the earth's surface, but let us just concentrate only on the maximum height. And here is that is 
speed v dash at the maximum height and n and n n that comes. So, is n times r. So, anyway you do it in this way like this is n capital R and this is capital R all right that is how it goes and of course this is equals to the radius. Now, I need to calculate the value of n. I have already said the calculation is going to be a bit cumbersome fasten your seat belt accordingly. Now, how do we do it? Obviously, the motion is not going to be parabolic <laughs> because it is a large range. So, we do it by angular momentum conservation. So, what is the initial angular momentum with respect to center because it is conserved only about the center and no other point. So, m v sin 60 right radius r is the initial angular momentum with respect to this and how about the final. So, m v dash into r plus of n r. So, that is the initial angular momentum, but then v dash and n is the unknown. So, two unknowns, so two equations we got to generate the second equation. So, what will you get? The first, the second equation the way how we generate is use the energy equation 1 by 2 m v square minus g m m divided by capital R the initial mechanical energy, the kinetic plus the potential and the final is 1 by 2 m v dash square minus g m m divided by r plus of n r. You will get a little bit of quadratic you need to solve that. When you solve the value of n that comes out to be 0 0.11. I know a little bit of rough calculation is there and when you have to you know report the answer as per the given format. So, that correct answer would be double 0 0.11 that is the correct value of n. And the final question. A point object O is at a distance of 20 centimeter from a convex lens of focal length 10 centimeter. So, it clearly says it clearly says that the object is at you know 2 f. So, the image this side it will be at 2 f is not it that is very clearly known. The object moves with a velocity 10 i cap plus 10 j cap that is a case. And I need to calculate the speed of image at this instant. Now, there are two components of the speed of the object right being precise two components of the velocity of the object. So, we need to handle the x component and the y component. How do we calculate the corresponding velocity of image you know the corresponding x component velocity how do we do that? The x component velocity is rate of change of object distance and you know when the object is at 2 f the image will be at 2 f right and what would be the formula 1 by v minus 1 by u is 1 by f right that is the lens formula. So, I will get minus 1 by v square dv by dt plus 1 by u square du by dt that is equals to 0 that is equals to 0. So, right here because v and u are exactly same at this instant. So, the image velocity corresponding to x would be equals to that of object velocity right. So, uh, the image if it is here somewhere that is the distance 20 centimeter right that is how it goes. The image will be going towards infinity why because the object is coming towards f. So, the image has to go towards infinity is not it that is how it goes that is a very straightforward one and that component will be 10. Now, how to handle this? This is rate of change of object height. At this instant because the magnification is 1 the rate of change of image height would also be equals to same is not it and then the image speed would be the resultant of that. So, that is going to be 10 root 2. So, this value is going to be 14.14. 14 
so that would be the correct integer because root 2 is 1.414 in that way right so this would be the correct answer that you are going to report so with this we come to the end of this special episode the discussion of the mock test paper so we discussed paper physics of open mock test paper 1 code a and i wish you all the best for the upcoming examination take care and bye for now